Hey guys, and welcome back to Studio One with me, Gregor. Did you know how easy it is to assign a secondary editing tool in Studio One that you can toggle whenever you hold down Command on a Mac or Control on Windows? This can be very useful in many workflow situations, and it's guaranteed to make your life a bit easier in case you're not using this yet. Let's check it out. So you can do this by clicking here onto the arrow tool, and then you can select an alternative tool, as you can see, which can be any of the other tools that are available here from the toolbar. And you can always switch this on the fly so that you always have a shortcut that makes sense for the current task at hand. For example, I like to have the split tool as my alternative tool. And when this is set, once again, I click here on the arrow tool and then select the split tool to assign it as my secondary tool. Then I can hold down Command on a Mac, it would be Control on Windows. And as long as I hold it, I'm toggling to the split tool. So this is kind of like a temporary switch of tools so that I can quickly go back to the arrow tool right after. Why would I want that? Well, let's say that I want to cut this choir part here, for instance. Then I can hold down Command, set a cut point here, one here, let go and directly select these two, for instance, to delete them, just like so. There's many applications that you can think of. It's just very handy to have a secondary tool directly available without having to switch your main tool for that. And it can also be incredibly useful to have the bend tool, for instance, as your secondary tool when you do a lot of audio editing and quantizing that can be particularly handy. So for example, here, I just switch and um, this allows me to start editing this waveform on the fly. As soon as I'm done, I just let go and I'm back with the classic arrow tool. Same works with the listen tool, of course. I can once again click here on the arrow tool, select the listen tool as my secondary and then jump through different sections. Just to verify that everything sounds the way it should. You can also assign mute or delete, for example, with the eraser tool here. So as you can see, the secondary tool allows you to quickly toggle back and forth between your most used editing tools, which can be a great time saver in many editing situations. And hopefully this is going to make your workflow life a little bit better. Thank you for watching.